Hey guys, all right, so today I'm gonna be making scallops. I purchased my scallops from Sea to Table. I'm trying to give you guys some other options because the grocery store, it's hard to get a time spot. I know they're like three to five days out in some cases. You're lucky if you can get same day delivery. Going to the store, forget it, absolute nightmare. And then getting things that are actually in stock is a challenge too. So just trying to give you some other options and other businesses that you can support besides just the big grocery stores. So these are wild caught, they're sustainable and traceable, not farm, no preservatives, no antibiotics. I'm gonna be making two packs for this recipe. We're gonna bake it off in the oven so it's a little bit crispy. Hit it with my favorite, some Locatelli cheese. And it's just really good that you can keep this in your freezer so you don't have to use it right away. It comes frozen so you could defrost it in your fridge or pop it in the freezer. And then you always have it in stock to have a quick meal, healthy meal. For the topping, I have half a stick of melted butter, unseasoned breadcrumbs, get the unseasoned, that way you're not adding any additional salt. Your favorite flavored olive oil, I'm gonna use basil, locatelli, pecorino, romano. And for that reason, we don't have to add in that much salt, I add in just a little hint but the locatelli is gonna give it that sharp, salty flavor. I'm just gonna add in one scoop. I never measure when I cook, so I would say a little more than a tablespoon. Then our garlic, fresh parsley, fresh cracked pepper and a little bit of salt. And then, some paprika. I wouldn't go too smoky on this, just a regular paprika is fine. I really want it to be the texture of wet sand. That looks perfect. It's gonna help the scallops crisp up right on top. So when you're cooking scallops, you want them to be super dry. So I dried them off with a paper towel. I'm just gonna go on top again, just to make sure there's no excess moisture. You can see we did a pretty good job. That way your breading is gonna stick to the top. If they're wet, especially when they're frozen, it's just gonna like slide all over the place and get watery and yucky. You're not gonna have that crunchy topping. So drying them off just helps them to get super duper crunchy. That looks good to me. These look super fresh. We're gonna put our topping on. They only take about 16 to 17 minutes in the oven at 400 degrees. Then I'm gonna add, I have some white wine left over. Just white wine right into the baking pan about a quarter inch or so. You don't have to pour them on the scallops. You just wanna pour them right around the sides and they'll absorb them when they cook. So that should be plenty. Let me just even it out a little bit there. Okay, perfect. So like I said, it's gonna take about 16 to 17 minutes in the oven. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you my side dish. This is one of my favorite side dishes and it's also a pantry item that you can always keep in stock. I always have coconut milk. I always have jasmine rice. I love jasmine rice and coconut milk. I can find about a hundred things that I can use it for. So for the side dish, you're gonna boil the jasmine rice in water like you normally would. Then towards the end of cooking, I stir in some coconut milk, shake up the can really well because it is full fat. So you're gonna shake it up, use about a quarter cup to a half a cup, stir it in with your jasmine rice, and it's gonna be really creamy. It's not sweet, but it just adds this little tiny hint of coconut flavor that is just so delicious and it doesn't take you any time at all to make. So I'll use some of that and then save the rest for a smoothie for the next day. Scallops came out perfect after 16 minutes. I'm just gonna zhuzh it up with a little bit more parsley. And the wine created this really great sauce on the bottom of the pan. So I would definitely scoop a little bit of that up and then drizzle it over the top of the scallops before you serve it with your rice. Hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe. It's a really super fuss-free way to make scallops. You could even do this with shrimp too. Um, and it's equally as delicious. If you try it out, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a delicious day.